Hello friends, welcome to Flight Test Tech. I'm Jason, and today we're gonna to talk about setting up your new Express LRS radio and receivers, including updating firmware and binding. To set up your new hardware, you're gonna need a few things. You're gonna need your radio and a USB-C cable. You're gonna need your receivers, and also a way to power your receivers. For the PWM airplane receivers, we're gonna use a ESC and a battery. And for your serial receivers, they should already be wired up and be able to be powered through your flight controller. The only other thing we're gonna need is a laptop or a computer with a Wi-Fi connection. Now to update the radio and your receivers, you're gonna need a bit of software called the Express LRS Configurator. We have a link in the description below for the download site. So you'll put that in your browser and on a Windows machine, which is what we're using here, we're gonna want the exe file you click on that and download it. And then you'll go to your downloads folder and run that executable. If you get a message like this, please click yes and install it on your computer. And when it's done, you can run ExpressRS Configurator. And there we go. The first thing that we highly recommend doing when you get a new radio and receiver is update the ExpressLRS firmware and Lewis grips to the most recent version. We're gonna do that in the configurator here. Uh, as long as you don't have show pre-release checked because you want to have just the stable production releases you want to choose the highest version now you want to pick a target that's going to be the name of your radio so we have a radio master so we want to scroll down to radio master 2.4 gigahertz and then under device we want to find the radio master pocket and it's the internal 2.4 TX. So that is the correct option here. So in flashing method, we wanna select Wi-Fi. And then in these options below, we wanna keep it in standard mode. The regulatory domains, if you are not in the EU, you're gonna select regulatory domain ISM 2400. If you are in the EU, you wanna select the EU. Since we're in the US, we're gonna go with the bottom option. Binding phrase is the next thing. This is probably the easiest way to bind your radio with your receivers. You basically are going to put in a password that all of your Express LRS hardware is going to use to communicate to each other. So all you have to do is turn on your radio, then power your receiver, and they automatically bind, even the first time. So in the binding phrase box, we want to put some password and I'm going to use some password. It can be anything you want. On the right, you'll see auto Wi-Fi on interval. That's set to 60. That means 60 seconds. I'll cover what that means here in just a minute. Everything else you can leave as default and you want to click the build button, not the flash, just the build. What this is going to do is going to create the firmware file that you can save and you're going to use that file to update your hardware. So we'll click build. Once it's done, it will open up a new folder with a firmware.bin file in it. You wanna move that somewhere that you know where it is. Uh, I recommend just moving it to your desktop. So you can just take it and drag it onto your desktop. So that way it's easy to find. That is the firmware file you're gonna need in the next step. The next thing we have to do is on the radio, we're gonna to have to turn on Wi-Fi. So you're gonna go and press the Sys button, and then the top one should be Express LRS. You'll press down on the scroll wheel, and then you'll use the scroll wheel to go down to Wi-Fi connectivity. You'll click that, and you wanna click Enable Wi-Fi. Now it shows that Wi-Fi is running. So the radio is actually has its own Wi-Fi built in that we're gonna to connect to with the laptop or computer. 
So back on the computer, we're gonna go down to our Wi-Fi and click here. And you should see, if it's working properly, an Express LRS TX Wi-Fi. So you wanna click that. Uncheck the box that says connect automatically because you don't want this to connect every time it turns on. So uncheck that box and press connect. Now it's asking for a security key. There's a default password for all Express LRS devices when they're in Wi-Fi mode, and that is all lowercase Express LRS. Express LRS, and I'll show you that here. Express LRS. And click next. Now, typically when it connects, it's gonna open up our browser to an address 10.0.0.1. If that doesn't open automatically, you can just open your browser and in the address bar type 10.0.0.1 and hit enter. It should take you to here. Now, this is showing you your firmware version that's currently installed, which is 3.3.0. And we wanna update that to 3.3.1. From here, we're gonna to go to the Update tab, and this is where you'll be able to upload the file that you created in the previous step to update the firmware. So we're gonna click Choose File, and we moved it to the desktop, and there's your firmware.bin file. Click Open. Now you see the name here, and you just click Update. Again, you'll get a progress bar. It says update complete. Wait a few seconds for the device to reboot. If you look on your radio, once it gets back to showing enable Wi-Fi, it's been re rebooted and it's ready to go. Now we wanna download the Lua script specific for this radio. So you click this download Lua script button and save it somewhere handy like in your downloads folder. So save. All right, now we have to get that file into the radio. So first you're gonna turn your radio on. Welcome to HTX. All right, and now we're gonna plug in with our USB-C cable. You wanna plug it in the top USB-C port because that is the data port. The port on the bottom is strictly for charging. So we'll plug it in the top and then we'll plug the other end into our computer. When you plug it in your computer, you're gonna get this menu on the radio. You wanna use the scroll wheel and go down to USB storage and then press down on that roller and you'll look on your laptop or computer and a drive should open up. Um, in here, you wanna to go to the scripts folder and tools. And from there, we're gonna copy that File that we saved earlier, ELRS V3 Lua, and I copy it straight into the tools folder. Now there might already be one there. That's okay, you can go ahead and replace it. There we go, and that has updated the Lua scripts in your radio. We can close out of these. And we can unplug the USB-C cable. Uh, we're just gonna go in and verify that it updated by again, enabling Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi is running. And again, check for Wi-Fi. You're gonna see your Express LRS TX. You click that and just connect. Since you put the password in before, it shouldn't ask for it again. And it should, if everything worked properly, open the, the site again. Again, if it doesn't automatically open, open your browser and go to 10.0.0.1. And what we were looking for is that the firmware version is now 331 and the update's complete. Now that we've finished configuring the radio, we're gonna move on to setting up the receiver. Uh, this process is gonna be very similar where we're gonna use the Wi-Fi to connect and upload a file. First, we have to create that file. We're gonna go back into the Express LRS configurator. Again, we're gonna use release 331, which is the current release. Our device category will be Radio Master again. Radio Master 2.4. This time we're going to set up the ER5A 
receiver, but the process for updating all of these receivers is basically the same. The only real difference is, is how you power it. Uh, we're gonna use an ESC for the PWM receivers, but if you're setting up a quad serial receiver, you just power the receiver off of your flight controller. So for device, we will select the RadioMaster ER5A 2.4 gigahertz PWM. I know this is a V1 specifically, but check your packaging to make sure you know which version you have. Um, so we'll select that. Uh, we will select Wi-Fi for the flashing method and everything else should be pre-selected uh, that we changed during the radio setup. Uh, but just to re go over that again, we're gonna select the non-EU regulatory domain. Our binding pass phrase will be the same as it was for the radio and everything else can be default. Scroll down to the bottom and you'll click build to create the firmware file. Okay, it creates the file and opens up the window. Again, we wanna copy that to our desktop so we can minimize the configurator and we'll just drag this over here to our desktop so it's easy to find. Now, we need to power on the receiver. Now, I mentioned in, earlier in the video that there was that 60 second setting on there. What that is, is anytime you power a receiver, there's a 60 second wait period before the Wi-Fi turns on. And there'll be an indicator on the receiver showing that it's turned on. And I'll show you that right now. First, you wanna plug in your ESC to any one of the ports on the receiver. Make sure that your yellow signal wire is up and your ground wire is on the bottom. Then we will plug in the battery into the ESC. You'll see that there's a green light flashing. That means that the power is on on the receiver and it will change when Wi-Fi turns on it after 60 seconds. This green light flashing this way is the same for all Express LRS receivers. Now you see it flashing quickly. That means that Wi-Fi is on. Go back to the computer like we did before. We'll go down to our Wi-Fi, click the arrow, and we're looking for Express LRS RX for receiver. I'm gonna click on that. And if this is the first time you're setting up a receiver, it will ask you for a password, but also make sure you uncheck the connect automatically button. Press connect, and now it's asking you for that password, which is just all lowercase, one word, Express LRS. I'm gonna show that to you right here. Express LRS. Click next. So now connect to the Wi Fi on the receiver, and it should open up your browser to the admin site that's built in. If it doesn't, again, open your browser, and you can just put in the address bar 10.0.0.1 and hit enter, and it'll take you here. We see that the firmware on this is 3.3.0, so it definitely needs updated. So we'll go down here to the Update tab. And we'll choose, choose File, and like before, we'll go to our desktop, choose the firmware file that we saved there, and then click Update. And then once it's completed, you'll get the update succeeded, and click OK. Now what you wanna do is watch your receiver. Once it starts blinking green again, it has rebooted and it should be updated. What we're gonna do is we're gonna wait again for the Wi-Fi to turn back on so we can verify that it's got the right version installed. Okay, now the receiver is flashing quickly. That means Wi-Fi is turned on. We wanna close this. We're gonna go back in to our Wi-Fi, find Express LRS RX, connect. Because you put the password in before, it won't ask you for it again. And again, it should open up the site. And we can confirm that firmware version is 3.3.1. And the receiver is updated. The last thing we need to do is verify that our binding phrase was set properly on both the radio and the receiver. So if you haven't already, unplug the battery from your ESC and power on your radio. Warning. All right, that's turned on. Before we plug the ESC back in, 
we want to verify that our model is set up properly for ExpressLRS. Make sure you run the model that you're going to use for your specific airplane or quad. You want to press the model button and then the page right button, which will be the second one down on the pocket here. That'll get you into the model setup. Now you want to scroll down to, this is specific to the Radio Master Pocket with the built-in Express LRS. You want the internal RF to be set to Crossfire. Now Express LRS uses the Crossfire protocol to communicate between the radio and the receiver. So that's why we're putting Crossfire here. Um, so you, if it doesn't say Crossfire, just click it with the scroll wheel and scroll until you see Crossfire. If it's an internal and it's just Crossfire, that'll be your only option. Press the button again. That way you know that Crossfire is set for this model. You go to the return button, which will take you back. Press it a couple times so you get back to the main screen here. Now we're ready to plug in and power the receiver. Now you'll plug in the battery to the ESC, which powers the receiver. And if you look on the main screen, you'll see if everything worked properly, you'll see the four bars here indicating that there's a connection between your radio and the receiver. Also, the green light on the receiver is now solid green. Thank you for being part of the Flight Test family. If you have any other questions about Express LRS that we didn't cover here, please leave them in the comments and we'll try to answer as many as we can. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.